We have reached world's jazz capital. From Miami, Florida, the FSL World Drive made its way up north and then west, crossed Alabama and Mississippi and reached Louisiana, with its largest and most famous city, New Orleans. Sometimes our refueling sites in the middle of the countryside are really idyllic, like right here in Grand Bay, Alabama, coincidentally near a firehouse. Of course, our filling station is 100% safe and definitely doesn't need to be under close inspection. So the presence of these gentlemen was more a matter of curiosity in the F cell. Yeah, they explained to us the process that they go through. I personally, I think it's nice. It, you know, it's going to be a while in coming. You know, trying to get people to, to buy into it, but overall, I, thought, I believe it's going to be a good idea. And this is how the refueling works. Our wall drive is accompanied by this gas truck here in the United States. Smaller hydrogen bottles like the ones we used in Europe are not available here. This truck is then connected to a compressor that pressurizes the hydrogen up to 700 bars. The computer is used to start and the filling itself is just as simple as filling up your car's gas tank. Plug it in and wait. It takes around 20 minutes to fill up a car. Uh... A stationary fueling station will do the same in about three minutes. The whole system is powered by a generator and controlled from this car that also can be used as storage for tools, as a coffee counter and terrace for lunch. But not only the catering is functional. So far we had uh, no problems with the fueling station. It was all without uh, incidents or anything else. So it's a prototype built uh, especially for the world tour and we are very satisfied with the equipment so far. The EFSEL World Drive had a quick stopover in Austin, Texas, where the World Drivers met colleagues from Car2Go, a Daimler car sharing project with a concept as simple as being customer friendly. Once you become a member, you can pick up and also drop off one out of 200 smarts wherever you choose in town. To date, Car2Go in Austin has more than 15,000 customers rapidly growing. As more and more people continue to move downtown to urban centers, there's just no more room for, for additional cars and it's more expensive to bring cars into the city. And Car2Go really works well with public transit. Uh, it, it meets personal transportation needs and gives people the flexibility they still demand without owning a car on their own. In San Antonio, we can celebrate one month on the road. More than 3,700 miles are behind us. Almost three weeks we still have to go in the United States, so plenty of opportunities to enjoy a good burger. <laughs>